Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm, I'm feeling like we got a little bit more confidence now. Like the two videos ago. What the heck? I'm, I'm learning how to use the frog, I think, is one of the things that's interesting. Tiny tool, perfect name. I thought the frog was unusable. It might be relatively unusable in the base expansion pack. I, and I, I'm not saying that it is, I'm just saying it might be. Um, however, in this build, in this weekly, in this unique weekly we have set up here, I don't exactly know the order this stuff is going to go down in. You know what? Give me a permanent stat instead. Then I do know the order it goes down in. Um, rather than just buying a cookie and probably drawing anyway, let's not buy a cookie and then lose. <laughs> We're going to win. This is like actually a horrible team. Maybe they got future prospects, but I felt like we did really well in the last episode. Two episodes ago, we did not do well. In this episode, I, in last episode, I should say, I started to feel a little better. Starting to understand the use case of when to pop a jellyfish. Of when to put a level 2 frog out there. And then maybe you sell the jellyfish's stats when it stats up a little bit to a unit that needs some support. Like, we kickstarted our hippo last time. That, that caused great success, if I dare say so myself. I would like a turtle to come out there. Holy cow. Let's forget about this turtle for now. I know I mere microseconds ago I said we should uh, get it out there. We have other priorities right now. I'm, I'm altering the terms of the deal. Pray I don't alter them further. And everything looks just fine right now. So d focus on statting up the jellyfish and then selling its stats to another unit later via the frog. Don't care for a camel. I do care for... Well, well, well. I do care for a croissant on our jellyfish. Let's give it some more stats via the pill bug too. The reason I care for a croissant on our jellyfish, I didn't even hesitate to pronounce that incorrectly that time, um, is because again, these stats are eventually going to go to another unit. So we might as well revel in, in getting them right now, knowing they're gonna be useful for us later. Normally we buy a croissant and then like we sell the unit 10 seconds later. Now we're doing things a little differently. I guess we don't need to buy more of you if we're, if we're going to take advantage of your level 2 effect, but so be it. I'm okay with this. I'd rather... A cupcake is fine, but I would rather roll to get closer to levels to make our jellyfish better. Um, okay, well, that's like exactly what you wish for, so be careful what you wish for. I feel like... A level 3 frog is actually, like, worse than a level 2 frog. We have to pay so much closer attention to, to try to get it to work. But that could be fun in and of itself. That was a strong team. Okay, 7 HP, I don't feel bad. Let me get one of these for now. Obviously, the, the bison's very useful. Let me get two of these. I would say immediately sell the pill bug to get the bison out there a turn early. Yeah, yeah, I support it. Now, do we want to swap stats to anything? Honestly, I think we want to swap stats from jellyfish to bison. Because the jellyfish can get stats from future levels up. The bison gets to get kickstarted as a 12-11 right out of the gate here. That seems okay. I don't know if it's amazing, but it's it's something at the very least. And we're, we're gonna... Things are gonna be a little wonky on this one, so just hold the line, okay? Now here... I don't, well, I, to be honest with you, I think we do want to swap stats. I think we want to swap jellyfish and duck so that we can sell the duck more easily. I'm just going to pump your stats for now. Honestly, I'm going to take a risk on a salad too. That, that went totally fine. So now we, we did slightly better. As a result of that, now we can sell our duck. It's a 5-4. We don't, it used to be a 6-6, six, six, now it's a 5-4. At least we extracted some of its stats before we got rid of it. 
Sucks to lose that garlic, not gonna lie to you. Honestly, you, you, you set up a great team here. I gotta give you my congratulations. I'm happy we're not on lethal because we, we're having fun. I don't really want a huge anteater, I think. I think we can do... You know what? What if it's round eight? It's a little late. But maybe we could get a hippo kickstarted as an eight... As an eight, six? No, oh, man. I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. You got to do better. You got to do better and just roll endlessly. <laughs> That's the secret. <laughs> you just got to roll yourself into oblivion, okay? Yep, yep. That's exactly how that went down, huh? How about... Um, We'll sell the duck. We got a 4-8. Donkey. I don't want to swap any stats, so why don't you just go to the front? The donkey's going to level up and help our jellyfish. Our jellyfish only being a level 1 is kind of hater technology, though. Um, I mean, I, I think this team is okay, even though we wasted a lot of rolls. It's not okay when it it's apparent that we're going to be dealing with a 30 attack... Um, our, uh, our 30 HP dog here. Holy cow, we won? That's unfathomable. We're on five wins. All right, if you insist, we'll go donkey donkey. Spinosaurus? I don't know, man. I just, I simply don't know. I don't really think we have that much need for like a level three donkey. I feel like we're, we're at the whims of chocolate right now. Certainly a three, two bird can go, okay? Like that doesn't need to be, probably a three, two bird is not as good as uh, a Spinosaurus. You would be fair to correctly ascertain that we're misplaying by, by not getting rid of the, the, our level one bluebird right now, but it's so close to hitting the next level. Come on, we're right there. You can go, okay? Be smart. Now, do we want to swap the jellyfish's stats to make a hawk better? I think you actually, you're getting to the point where you probably just sell your, your frog soon. Okay. The problem is that our frog has not really accomplished anything. Which feels bad. Like, it feels like we've wasted it. Maybe we have, but that leads me to perhaps falsely feel like the right thing to do is just hold on and try to get it to pop later. And that, that may lead us to true folly. I mean, we could take the stats from the buffalo and give, or the bison and give it to, like, the falcon, the hawk, that is, um, knowing that... The bison can, like, recreate the stats, but it's really hard. I mean, I guess you're just shuffling the stats of your unit around. So that in and of itself is not the kiss of death. Like, that shouldn't affect your team all that much, except for the better. But we would rather give the stats to something that gets a benefit from, like, a hurt trigger. I don't know that a camel's good enough. Honestly, a, a fat octopus that came out here could kind of go off. But am I really willing? To, I, I, if I'm w willing to sell anything, to be honest with you, it's actually a jellyfish. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but if somehow we could get... And now you got to go too. If, if we could get... You're so much more valuable with your lemon right now, but we'll, we'll talk about it for the future. More, more octopus, more octopus, more, no more octopus. Okay. If we can get a level 2 octopus, I wouldn't mind swapping the stats a little bit so that the octopus could have a greater chance to flourish. We can't kill this puppy. We're gonna, we're gonna kill this, we're gonna kill this puppy is, is kind of unbelievable. I can't believe we're on 9 wins. The frog do be goaded. I, I have a hard time seeing us get to 10. Please. You might honestly warrant a lemon just based on raw stats thanks to the stegosaurus. But obviously we are looking for like chocolate uh, or another octopus to take you to level two. At which point you might go off. We'll see. 
Okay, I see, I see you have your own. Your own octopus, that is. I can't help but feel like we're actually making your job easier. <laughs> oh, we were so close, man. By, by keeping that octopus alive, I think we were helping out our opponent, but that's okay. You go to level two, and then you know what? I mean, obviously we're doing this. Sure, let's... Well, now it's better to not swap stats, because you're getting like 28-28 out of this. Like, I think you're better off just taking your 28-28 like this, even though you're second in the queue. I have no idea. And then the frog basically exists just to enable our donkey. It's, it's a bit of a strange team, but I'm not saying it can't work. In fact, like quite the opposite. I actually think it, it, that's so unfortunate. Or is it? Or is it? Or is it? It isn't? No! Okay, this is what it's all about right here. This is for all the marbles. Okay, ready? Sell me. We don't need the stat swap. Buy me. Run a level three octopus instead with the Stegosaurus kicker. For now, we gotta, you know, you gotta pick your battles. I'm happy with the donkey. The, the bison doesn't need to be level three, that's for sure. I mean, considering that this is probably the end no matter what anyway. But I, I think level three octopus 40-40 with the lemon drip. I think we win this. I, I actually think we just win this. The, the donkey just blew out their shark. We're crushing it. Their hippo died before it could even attack. And the octopus got us there. So don't look now. But that's actually three 10-win runs in a row that all look a little different. The common element is a Stegosaurus for sure, but that's not that helpful because you have to live long enough for a Stegosaurus to actually do something. <laughs> I didn't mean to buy a horse! <laughs> Why did I buy a horse? No. Be a fishy burglar. All right, I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable on the weekly. I, I genuinely don't know how a horse made it onto my mouse pointer. That's officer, I apologize. I don't know how this happened. For now, we'll, we'll embrace this, I guess. Don't really want to swap stats. Honestly, we don't need two horses out there. Our strategy is not really, it's not something we're trying to run here. I'll, I'll take a three, two unit. I don't know. It, I do hate throwing in the early game, even though I do it all the time, so you wouldn't know it, but it just hurts because, like, easy wins in the early game, it saves you from hard wins in the late game if you're trying to get to 10. So we will level the frog, which has been bizarrely helpful. Um, I think we'll, honestly, plus one health. It sounds like it's not that big a deal. I think on the puppy, you know, to just give you that much extra uh, uh, HP, it might actually matter for all I know. And you know what? Then let me get a Wombat out of here. Just a quick 4-4 four, four Wombat. The puppy is just like a nice... We create like a lower minimum of how bad our worst unit can be. We had no faint abilities to copy, but it doesn't matter. Okay, no, you're, be aware of the fact the horse is probably gone soon. I actually think... Call me crazy here. I think we can do okay with two rats for a minute. <laughs> I think we'll take our, our level two rat next time. Puppy's still leveling. It's a 5-6. I mean, this is just a stat-heavy team right now. And that, that's the main reason I'm, I'm running the, the rare multi-rat strategy. Dude, I mean, honestly, it's not great because their team is obviously really good. But we stole their sheep. That's kind of positive. We, we may win as a result of the stolen sheep. In fact, we, we do win as a result of the stolen sheep. The Aardvark Be Useful 2022 Challenge has finally reached its conclusion. Let's get a level 2 rat. I would love it if an eel worked, because when it works, it's kind of sick. But I just don't see it happening. 
And we are going to run four squatted here. And then a swan kicker coming up. I think I'm okay with this. We For this one, we may need a little luck. We may need a, we may need a good aardvark copy, even though we are trying to sell our aardvark at some point. That's as good as I could ask for. A, a spider. Never know what it might spit out. We probably still lose, just looking at what we got going on here. We definitely still lose. But that's okay. That's, that's the folly of the four squad. Very important. Potentially very important. Don't think so. Think so. Think so. And I think... Nah, don't think so. I think the strat for us right now... Cucumber on puppy until lemons show up. We copy the rat ability. Doesn't seem that good. <laughs> Doesn't seem that good at all. No, your garlic! Is actually mathematically perfectly timed. But I'm not sweating it, okay? We're gonna hang in there. We, we are on lethal, and that's a scary thought. That's why I would have loved to have had those wins from the early game. But that's on me, okay? We can buy one more thing. Why not? Honestly. <laughs> Laugh at me all you want. Yes, I'm creating a super rat. It's not holding our puppy back that much. Now we've given the rat some incredible stats. I think we're going to lose. This, I mean, I'm going up against a team. It just, it's the strongest team I've ever seen in my life. Everything has fallen apart. My streak is gone for me. What lesson learned? Um, pay attention in the early game. Two wins. What a slap in the face. I really thought our puppy was going to do something for us. This team's good. It's good enough. Don't desync me. Don't desync me. How dare you? This, this team is fine. Okay, pay attention in the early game this time. Maybe a rich sack. Rich bit. Cartoony bit. Cartoony sack. Maybe a golden sack. Golden sack. He, we, we had gold member. We haven't had the sequel, Golden Sacks, yet. I, we, we know he had the Midas touch, but he touched it too much. We know about the twig, but what about the berries? We know about the frank, but what about the beans? You know what I'm saying? No? Stop, stop. Okay, I'm, I'm, my producer's telling me to stop. They're saying that the younger audiences are not familiar with comedy classic. Uh, Austin Powers in gold member and as a result this is a problematic line of reasoning I would just it's on Netflix I know everybody loves Mike Myers because of his newly seminal work the pentaveret go back and watch a classic okay Austin Powers in gold member so this time I'm feeling a little better yeah I'm feeling a little better I'm not feeling better about that what what has served us well okay one thing that served us well is a jellyfish as a stat enabler, and then you pass those stats on to a more useful unit later. Also, how are you getting so many stats so early? Is there some kind of cheat code that's been going around? I would have I loved a level here, I'm not going to lie to you, but just give me a croissant instead. Maybe you just go to the front. We'll try this. I just feel like I'm adding my stats up, I'm adding your stats up, and, and your stats are crushing mine. Maybe I'm spending a little too much on rerolls. Someone please help me balance the family budget. Never mind. I'm happy again. We won. Okay, we would love to see a fish, man. It would really hit the spot. Not a fish man, like in the movie The Shape of Water. I'm talking about specifically a fish comma man. Dogs always, it's always tempting. Just something that would level me up. Hey, look at that. Hey, man, nice fish. Everything gets a nice little bonus here. Don't really need a parrot, unfortunately, but still pretty pleased with the way this went down. We got a 9-8. I'd love to see a frog level up and then give us the ability to transfer our stats from the... Um... That's fine. From the jellyfish to something like a hippo. A, a hippo with a kickstart can really go, as you saw. We'll try. 
Another jellyfish would also hit the spot, but that's, that's nice. That's like exactly what we wanted. Again, we don't really care for a parrot yet, but it's, there, there are situations where it can be nice. Okay, another frog. We'll, we, another turtle as well. Do we, you know what? I'll save two frogs. I, I just think the, I just think is neat, okay? If we're gonna go full Marge Simpson, I just think they're neat. We've had some fun using the frogs in the, in the runs recently. Guess what? You stole my weakness. Thanks so much. Now, if you could steal the last little remnants of food poisoning from me through the screen, I would be thrilled. But until then, hyena, I don't know. I've, I've just never seen it pop, okay? Nothing. Okay, let's start talking about triage here. First off, the turtle should move up to the front, I think. It's no longer. The team is not set up in the proper order. What is this triple... Uh, it's not triple bears, it's just double bears, but we really don't have a need for the marmoset anymore. We don't have a need for the fish. So these can both be replaced with useful units very soon. That's nice. Now let me tell you, um, as long as we're talking useful units, let's sell the marmos. No, let's sell the fish first, it does nothing. And then, I would love, I think we should try a hawk that actually has some merit to it. But I think we should set it up in this order, so that, no, because you do at the end of turn. No, you're right, okay, do it in this order, and then the, this is fine. It just seems to me, and we'll put this on you so that it goes to the hawk, it just seems to me that you would rather have a 17-13 with a great ability than a 17-13 with a mediocre ability. But it is a mediocre ability that carries some ability to scale, so there is that. I can't deny this. That you, you, you really, you screwed up my team a little bit. I'm gonna be honest, you screwed up my positioning. But, I'm gonna be honest, it only made it that much more satisfying when we persevered and won. Now what else do we want? Some gold? Sure, let's give it a try. A vulture doesn't really seem like it fits here. Marmoset does nothing for us and is soon to be sold. I think I would be happy buying a turtle. Um, selling a marmoset, buying a crocodile. Seeing what we get on the rerolls here. Now we're swapping stats again. We don't want to do that, but that's okay. We can just move you... Well, I guess we could swap your stats to the turtle and make the jellyfish a little better. Yeah, that would. This is fine, I think. I'm not overjoyed <laughs> about it. Definitely want the snipe, and then I guess like a lemon on the. This way, the jellyfish gets a little better, which probably is better because the turtle's active effect is way more important than its passive effect. Okay, we shot a shrimp scampi. Not exactly like a, a ten out of ten, but. Whatever. We still win these, but they're very close. These are very close. You definitely still want your jellyfish to level faster. We, I, certainly, I would say an octopus on the squad makes a lot of sense. And the octopus could probably take the hawk's ability. So we could... Or the hawk's stats. So we could then... Run octopus, hawk. We want to set it up like that, though. Jellyfish at the back. Why don't you take a lemon just for the time being? And then we really want to see more octopus. This will help our jellyfish. I can't be that mad. It's... I, I don't think... I, I honestly think this team has too high of a skill floor for me to make it to 10. <laughs> it just seems to have, like... It, you gotta... It, it requires more than I got to give. Although, on the other hand, we did just freaking destroy them with a level 1 octopus, so what do I know? This is still good. Still good. Octopus? No octopus. A little Spinosaurus. Can't really make the jellyfish work here. And don't lose sight of the fact we gotta rework this team. Because I think we want you at the back now. 
And then you got a lemon, so you probably just don't have the, the melon armor override it, even though at 10 10, it's probably not that likely to be useful. The problem for this squad right now is we have like no stats. And as you can see, now we're going to go up against a, a, a team that has some stats. It's really hard for me to imagine a world where we manage to get over that. And we're not going to do it here. Well, I guess we weren't off by that much, all things considered. Let's just pump some stats, man. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You could sell your 1717 frog and really just invest in your octopus, octopus tiger, octopus tiger, octopus tiger, octo octopus tiger. I don't know if this is going to get us much further, but I do think we've had we've had fun on the way. And that that matters, man. In in a world like this, having fun Rock and roll ain't noise pollution, Grandpa. I still think we had a great time. So for that to get the six felt good. And we're back in the saddle. Dude, I'm telling you, frog is like a good luck charm. We see frog, we take it. I, I'd almost rather buy honey than, uh, than what you gave me there. What a misty fanboy. You're not going to win with three 1 HP units, but you might draw. <laughs> and you might lose is the other thing. You might lose. As good as a cricket can be here with two horses, we, we really just want um, as much defense as possible. So why don't you take two HP and then we'll send another another lad out there. Thanks for buffing my horse. I really appreciate it. Who would have thought? I, I, I applaud the developers for making a, a weekly where a heretofore I thought to be useless unit has actually come into its own. We also like level it up so easily just because it's a tier one like or a level one. It shows up all the time. So any long-term statters in the chat? We'll, add, we'll definitely add a swan for future considerations. We don't really care about a level up, right? Like, that's the thing. What do we care about a level up? On the horse. We don't. If we're going to go a summon build, it all comes down to, like, vultures later anyway. Oh, this is unfortunate. <laughs> you know, I'll take my draw. Considering you soul read me, I'll take my draw. I love this. Give me one of these. You're not going to love this, but I'm telling you, the, the sheep is better. And then we get two swans out there. And honestly, just start pumping one of these swans with a croissant. We may lose this round, but to go down to seven, seven and nine are functionally the same amount of HP right now. To get our economy off the ground a little faster, I, I think I look at that as a positive. I look at it as a blessing. This team's a little better than me. That's fine. We don't sweat that. He got mad weapons too. You already know what I'm going to say. Ain't trying to hear that. How about one of these? How about one of these? It does feel weird to not have a, a jellyfish. And I know we could have gotten one, but... Every time we have taken one, I've been kind of disappointed with it anyway. Because I just feel like I have no identity right now. I don't know where we're going or, or what we're going to do when we get there. Holy cow, we draw. Okay. What would really hit the spot? How about uh, another swan? How about a level up? How about an anteater is just good? It's just a positive thing to have on the team. Oh, and then they gave me the sheeps afterwards, you. How dare you. Do you know how much I've played this game? Do you know how much time I spend in this store? You'll be hearing from my lawyer! That's okay, because the, the sheep upgrade is not even that good to begin with. It's just, it feels like I was persecuted. And it's that feeling that I look to as valid no matter what. Oh my god, this is such a heartbreaking loss. Cowboy hat bat. Sorry, we're on four. Four and seven are basically the same in some ways. Level me. 
I can't make a chicken run work here. Are you crazy? What do you think this is? Wallace and Gromit? And then we're just creating a, a, a freaking super frog for no reason? I'm creating an economic powerhouse that does nothing for us? I'm floundering? We gotta talk about it at least. Okay, 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 okay. This would be a great round to not lose. But I don't think that's what's gonna happen. The three for one trade felt very nice. Even then, I'm somewhat skeptical. Never mind, we're actually gonna win. Okay. Not losing that one feels very nice because we got some potential plays here. We got a level, which means we, you know what? Let's create, forget the hippo, let's create a cool rhino. It's just fun. And at 5'8, we can create actually a 9'7 rhino. It's not a huge change, but it's something. And to be honest, I recognize the fact you're going to look at this and say, you're missing an ant here. I think I gotta say, I'm not that worried about the ant. Like losing one, two, one ant is something. And we, we, we could have the bird up there, don't get me wrong. But we gotta be very precise with our order here and not, not lose the ability to see the forest through the trees. You know what I mean? Maybe yes, maybe no. Honestly, this camel's gonna blow me out, isn't it? Confirmed. Confirmed blowout. Okay. We're on one life. Let's let's find our, our path out of here. We just got to get eight straight wins. Well, the first thing I would say is you, you, you can buff. You can buff. But you don't want to swap stats. We want you to leave. Forget the bison. It's just too late. It might be a little boring too. Give me two of these. Let me look at this. Freeze me. Level 2 Rhino next turn. Okay, here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it like this. I just love an octopus, man. I know we got the whole shop frozen. I just love an octopus. We swapped the stats regardless. No, no. I'm looking at this and I'm like, dude, this run actually looks so good. If we don't forget to swap the stats, holy cow. Just let me live. They're not going to let me live. I'm so depressed. Holy cow. That rhino would have gone off there, I think. <laughs> it's my own fault, by the way. Hey, you know, you take the good with the bad. Look at this history. This is crazy. So we got 10, 10, 10, 2, 6, 2. What a world. Either way, I'd take that any day of the week. For now, though, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.